Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Microsoft's universal foldable keyboard. It could make your life a whole lot easier. I'll jump to that in a second, but first, BTEC's growing. You'll probably notice this week we've been posting at double speed. To stay on top of all of our videos like those and this one, subscribe. It also helps us out massively. Now, back to the keyboard review. If you're like me and hate nothing more than typing long notes on the on-screen in keypad on your tablet or phone and don't want to lug around a chunky keyboard, because otherwise you might as well be lugging around a laptop, right? then this could be the answer you're looking for. Microsoft has come up with a very sleek, lightweight keyboard. The best part about it, it folds in half. Theoretically, it's just small enough to fit in a big back pocket with dimensions of 14.7 cm by 12.5 cm and just over one centimeter thick when folded in half. Unfortunately for me, my back pockets aren't quite big enough to fit the keyboard, but Basil managed to get it in his side pocket, breast pocket, and rear pocket. For me, the best option would be to throw the keyboard into my handbag, which is still pretty cool. It's made from fabric similar in feel to the Surface keyboards, so it's pretty soft to the touch and spill resistant. The keyboard isn't too bendy, so it feels safe in a bag. I'm a little concerned about the exposed edges though, and there's a real possibility of some scuffing there. The keyboard has also been fitted with magnets, which is a nice touch, as it means it won't fall open when not in use. I'm guessing it also switches itself off when closed too, thereby saving battery. The way the keyboard has been designed means there's actually quite a big gap right down the middle of the keypad, and that will take some serious getting used to, especially if you're a touch typist but it's probably just a case of practice makes perfect. The fold also means the keyboard will fold in on itself if you're typing on your lap, so that's a consideration. For any lap typists, I'd recommend Microsoft's older, larger Microsoft Universal keyboard. Back to the foldable one, the key travel though is pretty good, and it's actually quite easy to type on once you've got your head around the rather large space right down the middle of the keypad. The keyboard is compatible with the three big operating systems, Windows, Android, and iOS, and it's a simple press of a button to change between them. Setting up the Bluetooth connection between the keyboard and your device is super simple too, and probably easy enough for even the most technologically challenged among us. To that effect, any trouble we had connecting the keyboard was always on the device side. Specifically, Windows 10 threw one or two issues our way, ironically. As far as battery life goes, Microsoft boasts it can last up to three months off a single charge, and while BTEC can't confirm that, I have been playing on the keyboard for a week now and haven't had to charge it up. So, would I recommend the universal foldable keyboard? Retailing at £100, it's a bit of an investment, but I can't stress enough how fiddly I find typing straight onto a tablet screen. So, if you're looking for something small and lightweight enough to cart around in your pocket or handbag, something super easy to set up, and a keyboard that can change between operating systems with the push of a button, it's a big yes from me. It's particularly appealing if you have a tablet with a kickstand like the Lenovo Yoga Tab range, or even a case that props your tab or phone up. Thanks for watching, hopefully you found my review useful. If you liked the video and like BTEC, please press subscribe below and we'll keep you up to date with all things mobile tech. And don't forget to enter to win a Davoom Aurobox Bluetooth speaker. Enter before end of play on Thursday and a winner will be announced this Friday 23rd October. All the details on how to enter are in the description below. Thanks for watching.